Hello and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing another just vacuuming. Now I figured we haven't had a just vacuuming for a little while and um, the last video I did we uh, sort of broke with the Dyson tradition a bit to have that uh, that Vax video of the um, the old Zen which was a request um, but uh, today I thought we would uh, do the house with the Dyson, the V8, which is just there in its charging dock. Now um, there probably wouldn't be very many people that would uh, have their Dyson V8 on the living room wall, but uh, I don't really have much else place to put it. Um, I've already got another charging dock in the kitchen for my other, my V6, and. Uh, that now lives upstairs in the bedroom. I'm keeping that to do the upstairs with the uh, V6 Absolute. So I now keep my um, V6 um, Shaker Pro in the kitchen for the use in there. My little Vax handheld I gave to my parents when I went to visit them last week. I've had that one. Um, I did say they'd be getting one of them, but uh, I think my mother would probably struggle with the V6 to empty the bin and do the shroud and get the bin off. So I gave her the Vax which is pretty easy to clean the filter, although she'll probably never do it, so I'll have to maintain it when we go and visit them. But uh, what I'm going to do today is to see how long we can uh, run the Dyson V8 Total Clean for, and I will be doing the living room carpets on low power. I went round in the week and uh, used Max to do the carpets, and on the Max uh, function, I was able to do this floor, the floor inside the other room, inside there, uh, and also in the upstairs bedroom on Max as well, and uh, it was able to do it. But um, one of the questions I had in, um, I think it was one of the uh, other videos I did about the V8 is, so do you think uh, the V8 would replace a mains corded vacuum now? And I said no, it probably wouldn't. Uh, if you've got a home with carpets, and um, a lot of carpets, then and it's a big house, bigger than sort of a two bedroom terrace like what this is, or bigger than a flat, then I suggest that you probably would need to keep a corded vacuum because if you wanted to do a deep clean with it, you'd need it on max, and on max it'll only do seven minutes. So unless you are very, very quick at going round, you're not going to be able to do it on a full charge on max. The Dyson V8 Total Clean is probably the better vacuum to use for whip rounds in the week on the, the normal power. You probably would get round your whole house on normal power because it'll run for 25 minutes with the carpet head on. But um, really your carpet's going to need a bit of a deep clean than the 22 air watts that that supplies in normal power. Like I say, it's good for going around, getting the cat hair up, quick whip round, get your surface uh, dirt off. But anything deeper down, which goes down inside the pile, is not probably going to be fetched out by the low power. So, if you had hard floors on the other hand, then I would say yes, it probably would replace a, um, a mains vacuum because you could use the fluffy head on most of your hard floors and that would run for 30 minutes on low power and that would be sufficient. But um, I do like the, uh, the V8 Total Clean here. I'll just get it out of its uh, charging dock. The only one thing that uh, I don't particularly like very much and uh, I've noticed this with the other machine as well but not so bad as what this one can be is that uh, it does seem to be very wobbly, very loose or not very, but it seems to be more wobbly here on that joint. It seems to like flex a little bit too much for my liking. Where that part there joins onto here, it just seems a little bit loose on that there, so it, it rocks about a little bit. It's a little bit disconcerting when you're using it, and I don't know if that's going to get worse as it gets more worn. But uh, either way, uh, it has got a two-year warranty on it, so if it does break down, then Dyson will have to sort it out. But I'd imagine uh, that if it does go wrong, it'll probably be the bin connection here. But other than that, it, it's, uh, it's been very good, and uh, I do like using this. So today, uh, I just had a little bit of a talk to, to get into the video here, a little bit more than I would normally have on a, uh, on a just vacuum in session. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll say hello to Dorian as well. Um, I, I did like your, uh, you did an, an Auric and a, your DC44, cleaning the house video, uh, was it yesterday or the day before, and uh, yes, it was very nice to see your DC44, Dorian. Uh, it's nice to see you've got a, a Dyson stick back, you've got with the times. Um, I would recommend the V6, I think they're a, a good buy. Uh, we can get them for less money than what the V8 is here. 
But uh, nevertheless, I think you'd be all right with one of those. And uh, who else can I say hello to? Our pneumatic vacuum, yes. We, we all like your uh, we all like your latest video, uh, Alex, on the uh, on the Auric. Uh, that was a very nice video. That uh, I think Noel High liked that as well. It proved a bit of a distraction, apparently, for God knows why. But uh, that's what Noel said. But uh, yes, we do like your videos, Alex. Keep them up. And uh, we would like to see a video on your Auric Magnesium as well. Now you've had it, push it round the house. And um, if you wouldn't mind doing it, a little update video on your mother's Vax Air cordless lift, which she's had for over a year now. See how she's gotten on with that. But what we're to, what time are we looking at now? We've got 23 minutes here, and that's about the runtime of this thing with the floor head on. So let's go. We'll do as many rooms as we can get done. A bit of dusting up top. So without further ado, as I always say, without further ado, Dyson V8 vacuums the house. Oh, and hello to Luke Davis as well, because I know Luke Davis likes vacuuming the house videos and he likes his V8 and his V6. Because let's face it, these are the in back to have at the moment, aren't they? The in back. Let's go then. Now, as, I'm, as I film on my own, I do have to stop occasionally just to uh, alter the uh, position of the camera. Okay, so that uh, shouldn't take too long to do, so we can see the whole of the floor. Full battery strength, I never uh, mentioned the battery meter on my previous videos. Um, the battery meter on the V8 um, is a three bar meter, um, unlike the V6 which only has one little light. Uh, this cleaner has three and uh, the first one usually goes out fairly quickly and then it will stay on two bars for most of the time. Once your one bar comes on you've got a few minutes left then before uh, the end of power.
Well, I just do that little bit in the bathroom there. I'm going to put the uh, the soft roll or fluffy head on. So I don't normally have much hard floor to do, but uh, to do that little bit, it's actually quite good to use. Right. I just have to hold the camera in my hand just to do in here. So yeah, the, the fluffy head is very, it's a very, very good head. I, uh, I do like using this. It's, uh, I wish I had more hard floor to do with it. Um, very good head indeed. And uh, I know Dorian and Alex, they definitely like a very good head on theirs. Don't you, Alex and Dorian? You do like your good heads. Right, let's put the other head back on it. I'm putting the carpet head back on and then uh, we're going to go and do the bedroom upstairs. So uh, we're going to go up there now. Let's make that chair back. So it's so easy just to carry it around uh, with you without having to bother unplugging everything. And it goes straight in the, uh, in the bedroom with it. And it's very dark in here so I'll just have to switch the light on. Okie dokie. This one I'll have to hold the camera for again because uh, the only place I can put the table, this one's living on here now, so it sort of uh, it, uh, it lives in the bedroom now for doing in here and upstairs. So let's do this room then.
Let me just turn the light on. You can see the difference in the size of the forehead on this compared to the old-fashioned Dyson DCO4 there. I mean, the head on this is fairly small, isn't it, compared to the old uh, big Dysons of yesterday. And then when you compare it to, say, the Kirby's forehead, the Kirby's is absolutely massive in comparison. But I will say that this is very nimble, very agile, and very easy to get into different places, into small places. Say hello to the uh, seniors on the back there and the old uh, DC07, and they've got quite a following these days. The DC07, considering they're so old. Okay, that's uh, that'll do for up here. Let's close these doors and turn the lights off. So that's pretty much all the carpeted areas and rooms in the house done. Because it's only a small two-bedroom terrace, is this? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, the dusting brush on, and we'll do the uh, little bit of dusting. So I'll put the camera down on here again, because it's easier for me to have both hands free. dusting brush on. Okay. scratching post here which she makes a right mess of because I think she needs a new one now. Right, so let's just um I don't know if I can get it. I want to, what I want to do afterwards is just put the up top tool on just to do on top of those cupboards but first of all I'll just dust inside here in this room.
Right, what we need now in order to do the dusting on the top there is just to put the long extension pole on. So I need to pull that off. I need to put this on. Then this on. And then this on. Like so. And then, because we've got the cleaner now with the long pole on and the, the up top tool on the top, and I can just do. on the top of here. A little bit more tricky doing this though, I've got to admit, until you're used to it. Right, and that's it then. Let's just uh, take the pole back off. And then we can uh, take it to the bin. And I'll just uh, put the camera here so we can see the bin. So there's the, uh, the contents of the, uh, the bin there. You see some uh, dirt in there. And I shall just uh, very quickly empty it. Very simply. Oh, I've got to push this down first. Give it a tap. And there we go. And then occasionally you can give it a wipe down with the uh, with a cloth after, but uh, essentially that's a lot less hassle than the V6. So now, I shall just take it back to the charging dock. Hold it with one hand here. Slide it up into the charger. And then just stop my uh, alarm going, and then we can see it's charging up again. And it did that no trouble at all, all on the same battery, and there was battery left to spare. So um, there we go. That's the V6, and uh, all done on low there. Uh, nice whip round, a bit of dusting upstairs as well. The stairs didn't need doing today, uh, but uh, maybe I'll do them next time round. And uh, until then, we shall uh, see you again soon.